results of Tuesday's elections are in. All votes have been fairly counted. And I, of course, accept the results. I want to congratulate Mr. Durr and wish him the best of luck. The people of the 3rd Legislative District are the best in New Jersey. It has been an honor and a privilege to represent them in the State Senate and to serve as the President of the State Senate. I've had the opportunity to work with extraordinary people, and I'm proud of what we've been able to accomplish for our legislative district, for South Jersey, and for the state. You all know I got into this, into politics, after my daughter Lauren was born premature, weighing just two pounds with developmental disabilities. I was able to stay with her in a hospital for two months because I had a good union job with good benefits. Twenty years later, I was able to make sure all New Jersey parents had the same opportunity to be with their loved ones in their time of greatest need when the bill, when the, when the paid family leave bill that I sponsored was signed into law. Providing for the needs of the disability community has been a focal point of my entire career in public life. I'm proud this year that we're finally able to make this sure that the state met its statutory obligation to provide 85% of the cost of extraordinary special education for students with the greatest needs, saving money for property taxpayers. We saved the three nuclear plants in Salem County, preserving jobs while averting greenhouse gas emissions. We made South Jersey the center of the nation's offshore wind industry by bringing wind energy manufacturing to the Port of Fallsboro and establishing a new Jersey wind port on the Bay of the Delaware. We reorganized higher education, turning Rowan University into a first-class university with not one, but two medical schools, the School of Osteopathic Medicine and the new Cooper Medical School in Camden. Rowan's partnership with Rowan College of Gloucester Rowan College of Cumberland and Rowan College of Burlington and the 3 plus 1 model and stackable credential certificate programs they created are a national model on how to lower the cost of a college degree. We overhauled the state's school funding formula to increase aid to growing districts like Kingsway Regional and Swedesboro and Woolwich and created a school regionalization program that will improve the quality of education and may lead to Salem County becoming the state's first countywide school district. We created a countywide police force that has restored community policing in Camden, pulled Atlantic City back from the brink of bankruptcy, brought new investments into the cities that should be the twin anchors of South Jersey's economy. We enacted a $15 minimum wage with the cost of living adjustment and provided all workers with earned sick leave. We protected prevailing wage. We restored funding for women's health care. We legalized marijuana and enacted bail reform. It took 20 years and bitter battles, but we stabilized the state's pension system that was veering towards bankruptcy and saved billions of dollars in health care and prescription benefit costs. Too often, the way policy is discussed is about programs and process. Total votes, who's winning, who's losing politically. We do not discuss the impact of these programs are having on real people, or how they fit into a coherent vision of what New Jersey can and must be. But looking at these accomplishments at a little distance, which this last week has provided me, you can see the outlines of what has always motivated me. I believe we have an absolute obligation to assist those who cannot care for themselves. This means supporting children with fair education funding and job training. It means securing the rights and opportunities for everyone. I believe there's honor in working. But work must be fair to workers and employers. I fought for more jobs that pay good wages and provide secure retirements. 
I'm proud that I have always focused on expanding opportunities in every community for every group. And of course, because I believe the government must be able to afford the things it needs to do, I focused on ensuring that limited taxpayer resources are used effectively. I've never seen government do everything right, but I believe it has to do the most important things right. What voters said in this election is New Jersey's a state filled with hardworking people who want to, want to be able to provide for their families. As leaders, we need to speak directly to the concerns of all voters. I plan to keep speaking to those concerns. I plan to remain fully involved in public affairs in New Jersey. I will, be, I will keep speaking out for fiscal responsibility and reform. I'll be a strong voice for unity and economic opportunity and for the competitiveness and growth. Most of all, I'll be a champion for the enactment of policies that make New Jersey, makes New Jersey affordable for young people so they can live here, for young couples so they can buy homes, for working families so they can make ends meet with enough left over to go on a vacation, and for retirees to be able to stay in their houses near their loved ones. New Jerseyans want this to be a place where all residents can afford to thrive. I'll be speaking from a different podium, but I promise you, I will be just as loud and just as forceful for a voice for change. Thank you.